Okay, last up is the new trailer for the comedy sequel, Hot Tub Time Machine 2. In the sequel, when Lou, played by Rob Corddry, finds himself in trouble, Nick, played by Craig Robinson, and Jacob, played by Clark Duke, fire up the hot tub time machine in, a, in an attempt to get back to the past. But they inadvertently land in the future. Now they have to alter the future in order to save the past, which is really the present. The movie hits AMC theaters on February 20th. John, buy or sell this new trailer for Hot Tub Time Machine 2. I buy it a lot, and I like it a lot more than the first trailer they put out for this thing. Like, I'm one of these guys, we were talking about this before the show started, the first Hot Tub Time Machine is stupid. Like, make no mistake about it, it's stupid. But it made me laugh a lot, so I ended up really liking Hot Tub Time Machine. Very nervous, I, I feel a lot of trepidation about this new one, but this trailer, you were just playing it on your phone, and I was standing, I've seen it already, and I was laughing a lot watching it, especially that we gotta go back to, what was it, 17 or whatever? Yeah, you won't be real welcome there, but <laughs> yeah, let's go. Right, right, right. Like, it, I thought it was really funny, so yeah, it made me laugh. It, the job of trailer, get you more excited about the movie, it did that for me, so for me, it's a buy. Yeah, I mean, I, I have seen the first Hot Tub Time Machine, but it was a little late, and I had a few drinks in me at the time, so <laughs> this, just watching just this trailer, ago. just <laughs> <laughs> between Coors Light and McDonald's, you don't just look like this, kids, you gotta earn it. Um, watching just the trailer for me, it, it was the perfect comedy trailer, because it gave three really good jokes in there that hit hard. It had a really funny premise, and it didn't give away anything else. I felt like watching this trailer that there was a lot more where those jokes came from as opposed to where they're throwing every good joke they have at you at the trailer. I think there's a lot of comedy in here. This could be hysterical. Christian? Yeah, I agree with Mark on this. I'll buy the trailer. I am in the minority um, of people. I know people love this, the first one. I didn't like the first You're one. You're not in that big of a minority. Really? Yeah. I, thought, I mean, because every time I say I didn't like it, everyone yells at me. But so I... I I went and I saw it, and I wanted to love the first one. I was like, it's okay. The second one gets, I think it looks hysterical. I agree with Mark. I think there's a lot more in there, and I like that they're giving Craig Robinson more to do. It seems like, you know, and it's probably because John Cusack is not in this one. But the jokes in this trailer, everyone I saw so far, they hit. The rhythm hits. The chemistry hits. So I was like, okay, I'm excited for the second one. Maybe I'll like the second one a lot more than I like the first I'm just one. thinking about that line, you look like Gandalf the poor. It was a really well set up trailer, and, and, and it's hard to do that in, in comedy trailers, yeah. to, to set up that many jokes and hit on that many jokes in the trailer. Especially with a sequel. Yes, yeah. absolutely, and I think that that's because they took a little time, because they're supposed to come out this year. And it, that's right. It, and it yeah. took, I think they took a little time with it, and that could sometimes, a lot of times, reshoots and, and those type of things are, are dangerous. But with a comedy, sometimes it could be beneficial. Mm -hmm. It looks like that's the case with this one. And February could be the perfect time. Of that's release for why a movie I'm like inspired. This. Yeah. Because when if it comes, if it had come out in January, I'd say, uh oh, here comes a turd. But if it, but the fact that it's coming out in February, that means they have confidence. In it. Yeah. Dennis, I buy it as well. I, I enjoyed the first one. And I think this trailer looked funny. This is one of those movies where. It doesn't have to even be better than the original. As yeah. long as it's just as good or just as funny, because I enjoyed it, I, I'm looking forward to it. And I think, yeah, you guys are right. The, the trailer has a bunch of great punchlines in it. I just hope they didn't use them all up. Hey, everyone. If you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.